The vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is one that can hover, take off and land vertically without relying on a one-way. Some vertical and takeoff landing aircraft can operate in other modes as well, such as conventional takeoff and landing, short takeoff and landing, or short takeoff and vertical landing. Today, the bus will present the list of all the vertical takeoff and landing, or short takeoff and vertical landing fighter jets that have been produced. We will not include experimental fighters that have never entered service. So let's do this. So firstly, we have the Hawker Siddeley Harrier, which is a British military aircraft. It was first developed in the 1960s as the first operational ground attack and reconnaissance aircraft with vertical or short takeoff and landing capabilities. At the same time, it was the only truly successful vertical or short takeoff and landing design. Operationally, the Harrier uses a single Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbine engine that featured four vectored nozzles that can independently move from horizontal to slightly forward or vertical or 98 degrees. Being able to turn the nozzles slightly forward means that the Harrier can move backward while hovering. Up next, we have the Yakovlev Yak-38 or the Forger. It was the sole operational vertical takeoff and landing strike fighter and the first carrier-based fixed-wing aircraft of the Soviet naval aviation. It entered service in 1971 and retired in 1991. The Yak-38 did closely resemble the Hawker Siddeley Harrier. The Yak-38 features many engines in contrast to the Harrier, which has only one. Two RD-38 turbojets were located in front of the aircraft solely for vector thrust assistance, in addition to one Tumansky R-28 V-300 engine for vector thrust and regular flight. While it was a novel idea to ensure the aircraft could take off vertically, the fact that the aircraft was carrying two extra engines around meant that it just had more weight to carry than the Harrier. Up next, we have the British Aerospace Sea Harrier, which is a naval short takeoff and vertical landing jet fighter. It features a single Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan engine with two intakes and four vectorable nozzles. It has two landing gear on the fuselage and two out-trigger landing gear on the wings. The Sea Harrier is equipped with four wing and three fuselage pylons for carrying weapons and external fuel tanks. Use of the ski jump allowed the aircraft to take off from a short flight deck with a heavier payload than would otherwise be impossible. With a heavier payload than would otherwise be possible. Next is the British Aerospace Harrier II, which is a second-generation vertical or short takeoff and landing jet aircraft used by the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. The Harrier II is an extensively modified version of the first-generation Harrier GR1 or GR3 series. A new one-piece wing provides around 14% more area and increased thickness. The wing and leading edge root extensions allows for a 6,700 pound or 3,335 kilogram payload increase over 1,000 feet or 300 meter takeoff compared with the first-generation Harriers. Next, we have the McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II, which is a single-engine ground attack aircraft that constitutes the second generation of the Harrier jump jet family, the aircraft which is powered by an upgraded version of the Pegasus. The single engine has two intakes and four synchronized vectorable nozzles close to its turbine. Two of these nozzles are located near the forward, cold end of the engine and two are near the rear, hot end of the engine. This arrangement contrasts with most fixed-wing aircraft which have engine nozzles only at the rear. The Harrier II also has smaller valve-controlled nozzles in the nose, tail and wingtips to provide control at low airspeeds. Lastly, we have the F-35B Lightning II. The F-35B entered service in 31st July 2015 with the United States Marine Corps. Similar in size to the A variant, the B sacrifices about a third of the A variant's fuel volume to accommodate the shaft-driven lift fan, which allows it to land vertically like a helicopter and take off from very short runways. This enables it to operate from remote, short-field bases and variety of air-capable ships. In vertical flight, the lift fan produces 29,000 shaft horsepower and is capable of a 95-degree rotation in just 2.5 seconds. This variant is limited to 7G. 
Unlike the other predecessors, the F-35B is the first vertical takeoff landing aircraft capable of supersonic airspeeds. With this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.